This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to a video quick tip. In this quick tip video, I wanna share with you guys how I create this cool little glitchy text transition within After Effects using expressions. Now in this video, we are gonna be focusing on the cool screen glitch that you see right here. So we are going to be showing you how to recreate this kind of glitchy distortion, chromatic aberration color effect. We're not gonna be focusing on that because I've covered it so many times in other tutorials and you can basically create it using a lot of third-party plugins or displacement maps or even my free digital glitch script. So I will touch up on it a little bit at the end of the video tutorial. Then this tutorial will be focusing on the actual te text itself from one text to another using this kind of blocky transition right here, this kind of randomization blocky look right here in After Effects. So let's go ahead and get started right here. So today we're gonna to be using an expression by my buddy Cal Martinez. He creates some really awesome stuff and tools for After Effects, including Cyclops and a lot of other useful information. So follow him on Twitter. He posted this nice little article here showing you how he kind of created this glitch effect right here using expressions. And this is what we're gonna be using today in this tutorial here. He has a nice little breakdown of the expression block by block to kind of see what it does. Um, so if you want more information, feel free to read this article posted down below in the video description. But I will kind of briefly cover it as well in this tutorial here. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you can actually go ahead and copy the whole entire code right here. Copy it, and we'll go back into After Effects here, and we're going to go ahead and paste it into my Power Kit extension right here. And this is basically just a little notepad, um, kind of power user tool for After Effects, free, available at creativedojo.net. Um, so I'm gonna go into my tutorial comp here, and I just pasted it in here just to kind of make it a little bit larger for you guys to see here. Um, hopefully it's a little bit easier to see. Um, so basically, we need to create a text layer for this to work. So create a new text layer. I'm gonna call it glitch text right here. And let's go ahead, and for this to work, we need to create two slider controls, right? So let's go to effect, expression controls, and create a slider control. And we'll duplicate it and make two of them, same thing. The first one, we're gonna name it posterize time. And the second one, we're gonna name character offset percentage. And make sure you spell it exactly like this because the expression relies on having the sliders named posterize time and character offset percentage. And so if you wanna change the slider name, you're gonna to need to change the expression as well. So let's take a look here. The first line right here is posterize time and it's referencing the slider right here. And posterize time is basically gonna posterize the, the expression and the results, kind of like the posterize effect in After Effects. Um, so it's going to change the frame rate kind of of the whole thing. Um, so keep that in mind, it's referencing this first slider right here. And Cal recommends 12, uh, but I kinda like to set it to around like six or 10 or so. So I'm gonna set it to 10 for now. And it doesn't really do anything right now, but you'll see in a second. Um, the next one right here, the next line right here, is probability. And that's referencing this slider control value right here, divided by 100 to get that kind of percentage, like you know, 0 0.9, 0 0.8, whatever ratio right there. And this characters line is creating an array of all the possible randomization characters um, that we're gonna be using. Now, whenever I use these Unicode blocks right here, these never work for me. Um, it doesn't work on my system. I'm not sure why, if it's just me or if it's just you know my computer. If you actually Google like Unicode blocks, you'll get a list of Unicode block characters. And the only ones that work for me is like this full block kind of character right here. So I'm gonna copy that one. Um, the other ones might work for you, but I'm going to go ahead and delete all these right here. Do a quotes and I'll just paste that one block in here. And I don't really like this forward slash one, so I'm gonna delete it and change it to an underline. So you can customize this to whatever you want to use. You can use like one or two blocks or a whole bunch of different random characters right here. But these are kind of like the randomization characters that we're gonna be using. And so the whole idea is that we're going to be splitting. So we're gonna take the text lines right here and we're gonna split our text layer into different lines. So luckily for us, we only have one line of text, but this would work if you had multiple lines of text. So it's going to split our text layer um, based on the lines using character turn right here. And num text line is just the length of the lines or how many lines we have. It's gonna loop through each line right here and it's going to get the original line, 
and make a new line. And then we're gonna pretty much convert that line using this get new line function that we have right here. And then the, the new text line is gonna be this new line. So this is the magic function, the custom function right here. Basically it's gonna get that line, empty line right here. Um, it's going to pretty much ran, so it's gonna go through each character and randomize and determine, we're gonna get a random number. And if it's below the probability, then we're going to um, add a random character. If not, then we're going just to add the original character right here. So it's basically going through every character and just pretty much randomizing it. So some characters will be randomized, some characters will not, just depending on the randomization and our character offset percentage right here. And finally, we have another function, get random character. So it's gonna select a random character from our array up here. And then finally, it's gonna join all the lines together, return it as a string, and that's gonna be our text layer. So basically, we're gonna copy this into the text source code. Hold down Alt or Option on the stopwatch right here and just paste this code into there. And so we can go ahead and, and kind of just close this up now. And so now, if we change the character offset percentage to like 50, that means 50% 50 of the characters are probably going to be randomized. If, it, if you set it to zero, none of these would be randomized. If we set it to 100%, then all of these would be randomized right here. And you can kind of see what it does. It just kind of randomizes it. And if we set this number to a really high number, like, you know, 30, it randomizes really, really fast. If you set it to like one, it's going to randomize pretty slow. So just kind of the effect that we're going for here. And I think that 10 is kind of like a good amount right here. And so we'll start off at zero, right? So our text is just chilling. And somewhere along the line, right around here, um, I want to go ahead and increase the slider from zero to 100. And so it randomizes just like this. But we can't just transition like this. Um, we have all these characters right here and it just kind of stays like that. So we want to end it, right? So I'm going to go ahead and drag this over and clip the text layer, right? But at the same time, we want it to just kind of shrink. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and add an animate and add a opacity and go ahead and set this to zero, right? And so I'm going to go down to the range selector right here, go to advance and change the smoothness from 100 to zero. And I'm going to change the offset right here. So offset to 100 means that it's going to be, the text is going to be on. So I'm going to go to this, I'm going to go um, hit you, you and the keyboard to show the keyframes here. Go to this first part right here. Set a keyframe for offset to 100. At the very end of the clip, I want it to be um, set to zero. And so what we have now is our glitch randomizing away at the very end, but also shrinking just like that. And this will give us room to transition to the next text layer. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, hit control command D to duplicate. We're going to hit you on the keyboard, you on the keyboard, and we're going to bring this second text layer forward right around here. I'm going to change this second text to expression, right? So we have glitch text, expression, and we'll move these keyframes forward and we're pretty much going to flip them, right? So at first I want this to be zero and it's going to fade in to this to 100. And then we're gonna to go to the character offset percentage right here and set this from 100 and set this to zero. So we're essentially flipping it, right? So one text layer is, you know, becoming more randomized and the second text layer is gonna be randomized, but it's gonna transition to being more uh, normal to the final form. So what you have is like this. And this is all occurring within one second or so. And as you can see, we have this nice little um, randomized characters with these nice blocks and underscores and whatnot. Um, and so you have something like this. And you know, by itself, it doesn't really sell the effect here. We need, we need to go ahead and center these up. Um, so by itself, it doesn't really sell the effect, right? But if I go ahead and 
maybe add a grid. And this grid right here is created using a free preset called UI Grids by Dark Pulse. A link to that preset will be linked down below in the video description. And then once we have the kind of UI grid right here, which is a free preset, um, you can actually go ahead and add sort of like a glitch effect right here. And the one that I'm using for the original demonstration is Universe Glitch by Red Giant. It is not a free plugin. It's a third party plugin that you have to buy, um, which is why I don't want to feature it too much, but it is a really cool plugin to use. And the Universe Suite is also pretty cool to have. So just something to keep in mind. Um, it kind of adds that kind of digital screen look right there that you see. Um, I added a tint effect to kind of desaturate it, a little curved effect for some color correction and a universe RGB separation to kind of add that chromatic aberration right there. On top of that, I have a quick little globe from Optical Glow, also from Red Giant. And just by adding a few little tweaks like that, you can really sell the whole digital glitch look. And again, like I said, you don't need to use these third party plugins or pay for third party plugins to create this. You can actually create this digital effect really easily by watching my video tutorials in the past, um, using my free tool called like Dojo Glitch or other free tools on, online on the web, um, using displacement maps and, you know, splitting the RGB many different ways and adding the default glow effects. So you can actually create this effect pretty easily using other free alternatives, not just using third party plugins. But this is kind of how you transition from one text to another really quickly using an expression by Kyle Martinez. Awesome stuff. Kind of randomizes everything um, and goes through line by line, randomizes every character, brings it all together, and you have something like this. Um, pretty nifty little expression by Kyle. Awesome stuff right here from him. Um, so mad props to him. So before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsors over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for a store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing themes to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any coding knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support, and best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO. So check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Again, mad props to Kyle Martinez for this awesome expressions. Hope you guys learned a lot in this tutorial. Again, all the links will be posted in the video description down below. If you guys like these type of videos, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.